Yeah, so for the footer, there's a bit of information. It's not a lot. We'll probably link to the pages that aren't shown here, but we're gonna have the disclaimer, contact, and then call to action button. So there's a few ways to do this, but let's get started. So edit footer. All right, first thing is I'm gonna go white background. So I'll go to colors and maybe I'll do that. Let me just start there and I'll figure that out in a moment. What I'm gonna do just for the time of design is I'm gonna add a spacer to really there, okay. And then spacer, just so it gives me a little bit more breathing room. I just don't like how, when it's the footer and you're at the bottom of the page, it gets tight. Like, I don't even know what's happening. Okay, there's that spacer, just that. Cool, so that just gives us more breathing room. Yikes, man. I don't know what is happening. Come on. Nope, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, keep going, keep going, cool. And I'm gonna drag that down there, not in the trash can. So there, I have more room now. I have much more room, okay. And then I'll just throw this up here. All right, so I am gonna add more spacers and you'll see why in a moment. I'm just gonna make four columns. That's what I'm gonna work on right now. Four columns so that I could put text in it and organize it the way I want. The way I create columns, you could do it with content, but I'd use spacers to create the initial columns and then I get rid of the spacers later. So now we have three, four, perfect. So I just start dragging them next to each other until you see this blue line show up right in between. So you see here, there are four columns and now below each one, I'm gonna add text. I may add a button there or something, but for now, I'm gonna add text to each one. All right, so this is a little bit messy right now, but we will get this sorted. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I could actually just drag this over, which I'll do now if it lets me. Okay, man, <laughs> there we go. I'm just gonna put it below and then they'll link together. So it's gone. So here we're gonna put, I'm gonna just put info and then I'm gonna make this, that's big. I'm gonna make it heading four and it's all caps. And then here I'm gonna do info number two or just, I'm gonna do builders. I'm gonna do ADU builders because this will highlight probably the top ADU builders. And then here is gonna be the call to action. Uh, what did it say? So I'm gonna copy this. I don't know how this is going to be set up yet. So it's a little, they want to enter a zip code and go to the next thing. So I kind of got to figure out how that's even going to be set up. But for now, I'm going to just leave it like that. And then contact. All right, so this is going to be ADU comparison. Boom. Okay, there we go. So ADU comparison, we may have a little bio here of the company. And then what we're gonna do is, oh, okay, so I may need text in the end. But one thing I do wanna test is, I do wanna test this. So I'm gonna put the text box here. They want it to be small text. So you can see here it says disclaimer and it's a small font. So this could be normal. So this is paragraph two. So I'm gonna see what paragraph three looks like. That is small font and I actually really like that. I think this actually should go with it. It's gonna make it bigger again, but I'll change it. So I'm using shortcuts. So if you hold down command option and you hit zero, it's gonna take you to paragraph three. If you hit one, it's gonna take you to paragraph two. If you hit two, it'll take you to paragraph one. It's a little weird, but paragraph and then <laughs> command option three and then command option four and five and six. It takes you through all the fonts, uh, font sizes. So it's really easy to start designing with little tricks and tips like that. ADU comparison. All right, so I'm gonna have a little bio here. I think I have something, but for now, now let's go back here to info, enter. So this is gonna be like, for example, about, I'm gonna hit shift enter, and that just gives me an immediate line under. If I don't, and I just hit enter, it gives me a second line. So like, this would be about two or whatever the page is. It's a little bit spread out. I prefer, at least now, I'm gonna do it like this. About, and then I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna use this placeholder text. Cool, and then I'm just gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna go there. And 
do that and then find the nearest builder near you. I need to ask them, the client, what this is going to do. So I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know exactly what it'll do. So I'm just going to paste that there so it shows we're working on it and that's good to go. Then from here, I'm going to take one space and drag it to the top because I'm going to keep it. But these I'm going to click on and then delete. Click on delete. Boom. Now we have the sections built and if we want to adjust it a bit, we can like however we want it to look, but this is evenly 25% across the page. Looks really nice. The disclaimer is going across the whole page, which I may do something like this. This, let me make this smaller because it doesn't need to take up any space, but it could be something like that. And with this whole thing that like you could have a second, well, click away, that I could have another section it might be something I could try here. I've never done this before, but it could be something where we add a dark section and then just show this as a disclaimer. Like, let me go here because they definitely have disclaimers. Yeah, you'll see here download the app like they have their whole footer and all these links, which is a bunch. But then down here they have this, which I think is good. What I do want to add is that. So let's go back. And let me see, maybe I'll add it here. So I'm gonna hit plus if I can, if it lets me plus perfect text. Okay, here I'm gonna put the C, which is G, it's option G on the keyboard, 2021 ADU comparison, copyright. And then later if they add terms of service or anything. Perfect. Cool. So yeah, we may adjust this. I technically don't need this spacer now. So that can go away. And we're good to go. That should be good for now. It's not it's, it's a little bit busy, but I'd rather get something up and set and then we could go there to like adjust it. And the one last thing I'll do here is I'm just going to look at the pages we have. So we have home all about ADUs. There we go. So I'm going to add these um, to the mix here. Go away. Uh, wow, what's going on? <laughs> if you're copying and pasting a lot of bullets, what I recommend is you could actually just get rid of the bullets here and then add it into the site. It makes it just so much easier. So I'm gonna, let me actually see if I just copy off three of those. What does that look like? Okay, that works. It's still italics, I need to change that. So. Well, it's not extra spacing, I don't need that. Boom. No extra spacing. Okay, cool. And then highlight all of it, make it regular. Um, and then I'm not gonna call it blog, I'm gonna call it ADU Builder Guide. And I'm actually gonna copy that and then paste that here and then put this below. Just so it looks a little bit better. And okay, cool. And then ADU Builders, and we're gonna highlight builders here, actual companies. So. Let's, oh, they have some here, top five. Boom, okay, so these are top five. So I'm gonna copy that and go back here, paste it. When I paste, I do Command Shift V, so it removes the it removes the formatting. If I just do Command V, you'll see the formatting. Anyway, so that's that. I'm gonna do a quick zoom in and let me start to work with this. Boom, there's that. Just get rid of it, Shift Enter. And there you go. Boom, and that's all of them. I'm gonna adjust the formatting a little bit, but we're good to go. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below if you have any additional questions. We make videos every single week. And so if you have a question below and we could help answer it, we may have a video response for you just in about a week here. So please leave your comments below. We would love to hear from you. And if this video was useful to you, please hit that like button. For more content like this, subscribe. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.